Happy Thanksgiving, everyone! Now, being from London, I don't usually celebrate Thanksgiving, but I do have a lot of American friends, and as far as I'm concerned, it is a great excuse to crush their parties and eat all their yummy seasonal food. And nothing epitomises Thanksgiving more for me than pumpkin pie, with all those yummy spices and that autumn pumpkin flavour. So I'm going to show you guys how to make my cupcake version of a pumpkin pie. Now, obviously, what makes it a pumpkin pie is the pumpkin, of course, but also the pie crust. So I'm going to be giving my cupcakes a pastry base and a pastry topper. And for that, I'm going to use um, ready-made, store-bought, short-crust pastry. You can make your own if you like. Go ahead. That's great. But I'm taking the easy route today, and I'm going to make it with store-bought. So I'm going to unroll my pastry, because it's very handily been rolled out for me already. And then using a circular cutter, which is slightly bigger than the cupcake case that I'm using, because this pastry does shrink a tiny little bit. And I'm going to chomp out 12 of these and put them on a baking sheet. Now next I want to make my pastry toppers, which are going to look like little leaves. And to do that, the easiest way is to get a slightly smaller um, circle and chomp out a circle and just put it onto a clear bit and then cut the top and the bottom with the same cutter and you'll end up with kind of little leaf shapes and then using a palette knife or a sharp knife just make a little leaf impression and that will bake into it when we put it in the oven and then just put them on the sheet as well and just keep on going until you have 24 leaves all together Now, when I get around to making the cake batter, I'm going to be using one and a half eggs because I only ever have large eggs in my kitchen. But you could get away with using two small eggs. But because I'm using half an egg, I cracked an egg into a bowl and I weighed it. And then I split it into half into two separate bowls. And with the, with the half that I'm not putting in the batter, I'm going to use that to brush the tops of my leaves to make them all nice and shiny and golden. So grab yourself a pastry brush and just brush the tops of those leaves. And to give these a little bit of extra flavour and crunch, I'm also going to sprinkle on a bit of demerara sugar. Now, I'm not going to put an egg wash on the circles because it makes them puff up a little bit in the oven, which I don't want, but I am going to bake these now. And no matter what your pre-bought pastry packet says, bake these at 180 degrees C for around 9 to 11 minutes or until they're golden in colour and completely cooked all the way through. Ooh, yes, these look lovely and golden, so I'm just going to take them out and leave them to cool before I get on with making my cake batter. My pastry discs and leaves have come out of the oven and they're cool, and so now it's time to get on with making my cake batter, and this is a really, really simple cake. I'm going to start by mixing my dry ingredients together, and I have 115 grams of self-raising flour, which I'm going to put through a sieve. And I have a mixture of caster sugar and dark soft brown sugar, 75 grams of each, and they're going in as well. And I have half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And then what makes it taste so good is the blend of spices, which is quite often called pumpkin spice. I've got three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a pinch of cloves. And just add them to the mix. And because of that lovely sticky dark brown sugar, I'm going to need to help this through the sieve with a spoon. Otherwise it'll be a bit lumpy. So that's all through. So I'm going to put that to one side and get on with mixing my wet ingredients. So I've already got my half egg, so I'm going to add another whole egg to that. And 150 millilitres of vegetable oil. And then, of course, pumpkin. Now, I'm going to be using canned pumpkin for this, and I've got exactly half a can going in. And I'm going to whisk that all together. And once it's really well combined, I'm going to add it to my dry ingredients and give that a really good mix with a whisk. So my cake batter is ready, but before I put it into my cases, I need to line them with my lovely little pastry discs. And now that all my discs are in, I'm going to just use a spoon to scoop out my cake batter and plop it right on top of those discs. And 
And once you've scooped it all out into your cases, it's time to bake them at 170 degrees C for 20 to 22 minutes. While my cake's cooling down, I'm gonna make my buttercream and I'm gonna be putting on cinnamon buttercream and I'm making quite a small amount, so I'm gonna do it in a small bowl using a hand whisk today. So I've got 150 grams of softened unsalted butter, which I'm just gonna whip up with this thing until it's light and fluffy. When that's ready, I'm going to add 340 grams of icing sugar, which is already sifted, but I'm going to add half now. And with that first half, I'm going to also put half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm going to beat that really well before adding the next half. And once the second lot of icing's got in and had a really good beat, it's then time to add some liquid, and I'm going to add three or four tablespoons of whole milk and give it a really good mix. And that's ready, and it's got a really beautiful pale peachy colour, which is going to look really, really nice. But for now, my cakes are still a little bit warm, so I'm just going to put this to one side and wait until they're cooled down completely. My cakes are totally cool now and I've got my icing in a bowl here and I've decided to decorate these by hand using my trusty spoonula. Feel free to use a piping bag if you want to. I'm just going to grab a blob of it like this and just ease it around the edges of the cake. Once you've covered the whole cake and you're starting to get a nice shape, just finish it off with a little swirl at the top. And I am going to sprinkle some cinnamon sugar on this. So I have a bowl with some caster sugar and a tiny bit of cinnamon. You've got to be quite careful with cinnamon because it's quite a strong flavour and it can really dominate. So I've got about 100 grams of caster sugar and about a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm just going to finish it off with a couple of those lovely little leaves I made earlier. And then I'm just going to carry on until I've finished. Now that is a very autumnal looking cake and it's so cute with this little pie crust toppers on top and I'm pretty sure it's going to taste amazing so I'd better just make sure. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that is the embodiment of autumn. There's something about pumpkin spice, that combination of those classic spices, which totally warms you up from the inside out. And with the pastry crumb, this is just the perfect little treat for a Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then hurry up and be with the cool kids and subscribe at the end by clicking on the link. I'll be back next week with another one for you guys. And until then, have a great Thanksgiving and enjoy making these. Bye. <laughs>